What's up everybody welcome back to another video from exotic astrology and today we will discuss the meaning of a planet placed in a certain house. What does it mean when we say that a particular planet is sitting in some house in the horoscope? If you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it and if you like this video then click the thumbs up and if you are interested to do some donation for the sustenance of this channel then click in the paypal link below and it will take you and continue watching this video till the end now what does it mean when i say that jupiter is placed in the first house or venus is placed in the first house i will go to subjective placements like fifth lord in the tenth later but if you have watched my series the astrology basics which is there in the channel there i have explained what is the meaning of a lord and a planet yes what is the meaning of uh, aspects and so many other things so if you are new to this then please go to the playlist astrology basics and watch them and if you already know what is the meaning of lords and houses etc then you can continue watching this now i will not take any specific example for any ascendant but i will give a general view see whenever we talk of a house we are talking about the lagna of that house what do you mean by lagna lagna is the first house which means it is the head now what does it mean when i say it is that person's lagna which means that every house in our horoscope is somebody's head <laughs> for example second house is the family third house is our younger sibling that means third house is like the first house of the younger sibling 11th house is like the head the lagna the body of our elder sibling immediate elder sibling 7th house is like the body of our spouse 5th house is like the lagna of our first child 9th house is like the lagna of our father all right that means whenever some planet is placed in a certain house it means that planet is sitting in the head of that person <laughs> it's as simple as that for example if mars is placed in the seventh house what it means it means that it's like saying that in the lagna of the spouse mars is placed it doesn't mean that it will exactly be like that but the spouse will have strong traits of mars that doesn't mean that that is the all in all of how your spouse will be no it's not like that it depends on the sign which mars is it depends on the nakshatra it depends on the aspects which planets are aspecting mars there are so many different things to be considered but here when I say on a layman's terms, a layman when he sees Mars in the 7th house, house, he will understand that the traits of Mars will be very prominently present in the first house, in the body, which means the body of the spouse can be a bit skinny because Mars is the soldier, he is the fighter, so she can be like that, she or he depending on the uh, gender of the person his kundli or depending on his preference if he's a homosexual then it would be the same similarly if jupiter is in the fourth house what does it mean fourth house is the house of your mother that means she has jupiter over her head which means she is very spiritual <laughs> yes now this does not mean that she will be spiritual but she will have traits of Jupiter, which is what? On a higher sense, Jupiter is spirituality, wisdom, but on a mundane sense, Jupiter also represents 
the ability to guide others, the ability to be positive. On the other hand, if Saturn is placed in the fourth house, what does it mean? That it's like saying Saturn is in over the head of the mother, which means she can be skinny or she can be a bit dull in nature or dull in looking or she can be having a lot of tension in her head because Saturn is the significator of tension and anxiety is worries. When it is in the fourth house, it can mean that the mother of the native is having a lot of tension always. <laughs> And she can be very hard working because Saturn is hard working. Yes. Now what if Jupiter is placed in the ninth house? It means that the father can have these traits of Jupiter. What if Jupiter is in the eighth house? Then what? Your in-laws, because eighth house is the house of your in-laws, they can be very spiritual. All right. <laughs> And what if Jupiter is in the 12th house? 12th house is what? It is 4th from the 9th house, which means the mother of your father, which means your mm, paternal grandmother. <laughs> paternal grandmother, right? Am I right? Maybe. <laughs> so it means your paternal grandmother can be very spiritual. That's what it, that it refers to. Similarly, let's take the example of Venus. Suppose Venus is in the fifth house. Then the traits of Venus, which is what beauty, attraction, liveliness, etc. can be vividly present in the first child. Yes. For example, if moon is in the fourth house the mother is extremely emotional if moon is in the ninth house the father can be emotional of course for these we also have to see the placement of moon and sun respectively for mother and father but here i am not talking of the karakas i am talking of planets placed in houses the karakas will also alter the result for example, if Venus is placed in the seventh house, the spouse can be very much attractive to look or she may be very much social or she may be very creative. It's like saying Venus is sitting on the head of the spouse. That is how we read the chart. This, these are in layman's terms. Suppose Saturn is placed in the ninth house, then the father's life can be very much strugglesome. And then he, he, he might have to undergo a lot of hardship in the initial phase of his life. That can happen. And this will alter, these things will change if there are multiple planets sitting together. For example, if Sun and Saturn are both sitting in the fourth house. Then that can show some difficulty in the life of the mother. Because Sun and Saturn conjunctions are a bit difficult to handle. Especially her relationship with her father or her servants will suffer. For example, I am not talking of you, I am talking of your mother. <laughs> because it is the fourth house. And suppose Jupiter, Venus, Mercury are all simultaneously placed in the 7th house which forms a very special yoga in astrology which is known as Saraswati Yoga which means the native is extremely creative and very talented because all three are benefits. So if that all three are in the 7th house it can mean that your spouse can have these traits your first partner 7th house. Now what about the 6th house? Suppose you have Venus in the 6th house. Then your mother's sibling, first younger sibling because 6th house is the house of your third from the fourth. So third house is the house of 
young sibling and fourth house in the house of mother so third from the fourth is sibling of your mother so if venus is there she can maybe be very attractive to look if she is a if your mother has uh, the younger sibling as a sister or if it is a man then he can also look very handsome these are uh, traits that can be present and for example if son is in the ninth house then the father can be very strong and he can be very dominating he can be because wherever son sits there is a overwhelming response there overwhelming means it's like saying there's too much of something <laughs> so suppose son is in the seventh house then your partner will be like he'll be very hot to handle <laughs> because these are traits of the son because son is the king he or she will demand to be treated like the king <laughs> if moon is in the seven that means the spouse can be very emotional that is how we see the placement of planet because every house is the head of somebody okay and now what about the placement of lords for example if somebody's fourth lord is placed in the 12th house suppose somebody is a scorpio ascendant somebody asked me a question that what if fourth lord saturn is in the 12th house what it means well as i already answered that the whole chart has to be seen before making any specific prediction but if you ask on an individual level it simply means that see what is fourth house fourth house is also the house of mother and property right so the lord will be sitting in the 12th house which means if you want to get property you have to go to foreign lands otherwise you will not get property in your own land or you might have trouble with property issues related to your motherland and depends on the planet if it is a planet like saturn then the home can be very small depending on its dignity there can be too many things which are purchased second hand from somebody and kept in your home <laughs> or there can be too many antique things if saturn is in the fourth now when saturn is the ruler of the fourth house because for scorpio ascendant aquarius is in the fourth house and saturn is sitting in the 12th house in the sign of libra in exaltation that means the moment you go to foreign you will gain property there because saturn is exalted there exalted means it will do great there not necessarily always it depends on the degrees and other aspects also but on a layman's terms i am saying and what if saturn is in a bad dignity there suppose it is with the sun or in fire signs like aries sagittarius or leo let me give you an example suppose somebody has saturn in the 12th house in the sign of aries that means you are a taurus ascendant right because for taurus aries will be the 12th house just one house previous and in a taurus ascendant chart what does saturn rule saturn rules the 9th house and the 10th house and if you take the 9th house for father and if saturn is in the 12th house then it can mean that the moment the father goes to abroad he will face some serious trouble there or it can mean that the father has settled abroad but he is not in contact with you it can mean thousand different things depending on the dignity of saturn and let me give you a finer example for example uh, 
let me give you a final analysis for example suppose that same saturn for a taurus ascendant is in the 12th house in the sign of aries but is it is in ashwini nakshatra i will explain nakshatras later but nakshatras are basically parts of the zodiac now if you go into the story of ashwini nakshatra it is referring to horses which in today's scenario can mean cars all right as per time place circumstances so it can happen that the moment the father goes to foreign but when he gets in a car he can meet an accident <laughs> because saturn is debilitated in aries debilitated means there is some difficulty which the planet is undergoing there and saturn gets debilitated in aries and ashwini nakshatra comes in aries so when saturn which is the ninth lord of father has gone into debility but within aries there are three nakshatras ashwini bharani kritika but within ashwini this dynamics can come so, but suppose sun uh, sorry suppose saturn would be exalted in ashwini suppose i am saying saturn doesn't get exalted but i am saying suppose it would have got exalted then what would happen then the opposite would happen the moment the father would sit in a car and ride something big would happen with him but now that cannot happen because sun uh, saturn gets debilitated in there and the moment he sits there something will happen some major problem will come in his life let us take a last example suppose which example should we take <laughs> suppose fourth lord in anybody's chart fourth lord is in the seventh house what does it mean forget about the sign and all this what does it mean that your in the head of your spouse which is the seventh house your mother is sitting mother is who the fourth lord <laughs> that means your spouse will be very much affected by what your mother does if she does something good she will be very much affected positively or if she does something bad she will be very much affected negatively and depending on the planet these dynamics will come suppose mark suppose for a capricorn ascendant the fourth house is aries then mars becomes the fourth lord and suppose mars is sitting in the seventh house in cancer and it is debilitated in cancer that means the results will be bad which means the mother your mother will negatively affect your spouse <laughs> now let us take the reverse if you take the example of cancer ascendant okay cancer ascendant and then if you take mars in the 7th house for cancer 7th house is the sign of capricorn where mars gets exalted right and if you take the example of cancer ascendant which houses does mars rule mars is the ruler of the 5th house and it is also the ruler of the 10th house that means 5th house is what your first child 5th lord is in the 7th this is a combination for love marriage but in general if you see it means that the in the head of your wife or spouse your first child is sitting that means she whatever happens to the fifth lord which is your first child that will very severely affect her and because mars is exalted it will do good for her that means the moment she gets a child 
I mean, you both get a child, her life will improve. Because now, there is an exalted planet sitting in her lagna. Another example. Suppose somebody is a Cancer Ascendant. Alright. For Cancer Ascendant, Saturn is ruling the 7th house. Suppose Saturn is sitting in the 4th house, in the sign of Libra. For Cancer, Libra is the 4th house. And Saturn gets exalted there. In Swati Nakshatra. Now what it means? That your spouse has gone to the head of your mother. <laughs> That means, as soon as you get married, your mother's life will be positively affected. Her life will improve. Your mother's life. And of course, your spouse, her life will also improve because she herself is getting exalted. They will have a very good relationship. And they will be affecting each other very much in a positive way because Saturn is exalted there. What if fourth lord is in the ninth house? Fourth lord in the ninth house means the words of the mother is always over the father because fourth house is your mother and ninth house is your father that means that whatever happens to your mother will very 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 strongly impact your father and his whole life will be centered around your mother for example in a cancer ascendance chart if saturn is exalted in libra in the fourth house then your mother's whole life will be centered around your wife because whichever planet sits in the lagna that dominates the chart so when seventh lord is sitting in the fourth house it means it is sitting in the lagna of your mother your spouse is sitting there that means anything that happens to your spouse will very severely affect your mother in a positive or negative way depending on the placement of the planet depending on its dignity all right i hope you have understood should I give more examples? I can go on giving examples, but I think that's enough. I have given you enough examples, okay? And if you have any questions, queries, then let me know in the comment section. But I cannot give an individual prediction. If you say, okay, my planet is here, my planet is there. It has to be a proper consultation because predictions are not to be made in isolation. So. If anybody asks me, oh, my Mars is fifth lord, it is sitting in the ninth house, I cannot tell you what will happen. <laughs> because that is a detailed consultation which I have to do. Because Mars represents so many things. And I also have to see your fourth house because that also represents property apart from Mars. Okay. So I will not be able to give you any answer if you ask me what will this planet do here, do this planet do there. This is just a layman's understanding which I have given you but when we make a prediction for somebody in a chart the whole chart has to be examined all right and for that please contact me personally in whatsapp or in email for a professional detailed consultations okay and if you like this video click the thumbs up and share it with those whoever want to know the science of astrology okay until next time, bye-bye. See you.